What is up ladies and gentlemen, we're back here for yet another awesome fishing video and we're actually down here at the pond, just got down here um, and uh, yeah the pond is as you guys can see right here behind us but you guys have seen me fish this pond quite a bit and you guys know there's some big fish in here but we're here very very early in the morning you guys can might even be able to tell there's still like a little bit of fog out um, and I'm looking right across the street right here and there's like a little field um, a, a small field and there's like still fog sitting right there so it's pristine top water conditions but you guys are gonna do something I'm gonna do something for you guys that I've, I've never done or tried to do before which is the topwater roulette challenge uh, so I've got five baits five topwater baits right now um, I'll go over them super quick we've got the buzz bait first of all you guys saw this in uh, my last fishing video down at a golf course or one of my last then we've got the little little, little frog right there from uh, live target right there it's pretty sweet I've got the duck. If you guys have been a uh, long time subscriber, you guys have seen me do a challenge with this duck or catch a fish on this duck. And then we've got a normal frog and then a popping frog, one with a popping mouth. So that's going to be the challenge today. I've got the little uh, little spinner. They're all, all the uh, baits are on there. You can pause it at my, my, the, Typing and everything is like super fast, so I'm gonna go ahead and uh, give it a good old spin right there, and we're gonna see what bait we start off with. I've actually the rod right here has a whopper plopper on it, so which is you guys know it's still a uh, still a topwater bait. So if the fish are just munching topwater today, and I go through all these baits, I'll add in the topwater or the whopper plopper as like a, a bonus. A bonus fish catch or a bonus roulette challenge deal, you know. So, um, so we chose the frog, or it chose the frog. Um, so that is this guy right here. So starting off with this guy, hopefully I'll be able to uh, to get bit on this guy pretty fast, and uh, I can just start twitching around, catch catch me a fish, and get back on here and see if we can roll through these baits. So. Other than that, I'm not setting a time limit on this guy. Um, it's just kind of like a go, and as soon as I get it done, we'll get it done. Because top water doesn't last all day, you know. So, other than that, I'm going to tie that frog on this rod, and we're going to get to fishing. Oh, we got one. Second cast, guys. Second cast on the frog. On the frog. Yes. I still have them. Oh, heck yeah. Look at that, guys. Look at that. What the heck happened? Okay, we're good. All right, second cast on the frog. Would you look at that? That's awesome. And I, I, I literally threw, cast it out like maybe 10 feet off the bank. And that's how I caught this guy. Check that out, guys. Awesome fish choked the frog right there this is a great start I've been recording for a minute and 10 seconds and I already have the first fish well that was actually I was honestly kind of expecting that though to be honest with you guys let's see just gonna toss them out right there yeah so this pond is like super good um, so this so I mean I, I was expecting that a little bit, but also second cast. And I mean, I'm already a fifth of the way done technically with my challenge here, but you know, it's still a challenge. We gotta make sure that we catch a fish on each and every bait. So I'm gonna get this guy rigged back up and go back to the spinner and we're gonna see what our next bait is. Alrighty guys, so frog we'll go ahead and take that off because we've already caught a fish on there give it a big old swipe and hopefully we'll uh choose what our next bait is looking like a buzz bait buzz bait buzz bait buzz bait it is all right so that is the 
War Eagle buzz bait right here. You guys saw me use this in one of my last videos fishing at a golf course. So I'm going to tie that sucker on, put my phone back away, and uh, tie, take the frog off, put the buzz bait on, and we're going to get back out there and see if we can catch another fish. This guy all the way up. All right, guys. So to be honest with you all, oops, what am I doing? Okay. I believe this might be my hardest bait, the buzz bait, just because around here or at this pond there is a pretty fine line between the bank grass that kind of stuff and like way out so i kind of the only problem with this now is i have to cast it really far out um past that grass just so i can get a have enough time to reel it in before the grass you know and then if I catch a fish, I've got to bring it through all this stuff. So that could scare even other fish that hadn't been caught yet. And that could, could have potentially started with other baits. So, I mean, if it was real life, I would have switched to another walking bait or popping bait that I could have worked uh, in this area, but not, but still caught fish closer to the bank. I don't know if you guys get that, but um, see, now I have to cast it all the way out there. So... I'm going to do my best and hopefully we can catch this fish. Guys, you're not going to believe me. I just caught probably a solid three pounder on this buzz bait. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got that on. I didn't get that on video. Holy cow. Look at that stud fish. Oh my gosh. On the buzz bait, I was bringing in, I had gotten a backlash. And I was bringing in my bait, and it had a ton of grass on it. But look at that, guys. That is a big bass. Ow. Ooh, holy cow. That is one monster fish. Look at that. Uh, I was bringing the buzz bait back, and the fish exploded on it. Exploded on it, and there was tons of grass on it. I didn't hook them at all. Then I got all the grass off, flipped back in there, was kind of just hopping it around, and this guy blew up on it. Look at that. That is definitely probably a female looking down there. Her tail is a little bit bloody. That is a studly fish. Alrighty, guys. I can't believe I didn't get that on camera. I thought I was recording. Get that big girl back to where she belongs. That is m m the final. That is... And not the final bait, but the second bait, I was having such a hard time with the buzz bait. I mean, it was it was the hardest time. This was the most backlashes I've ever gotten. I was getting, like, super mad and everything. Um, one, because I was getting tons of backlashes, and this reel absolutely sucks. And there's all this grass, and I kept having to cast it out there. And if I get a backlash, it'd stop in the grass and I'd have to pick off all the grass and everything but now we finally got that fish which is awesome and that's a big fish too that's probably a solid like three three and a half pounder I didn't bring my scale over here it's back over there across the pond with my camera and everything with all my other baits uh, so I didn't weigh it obviously but it was a solid three to three and a half pounder so that's awesome I'm gonna go back spin the wheel and we're gonna see what our next bait is. Alright guys, so we're going to take the buzz bait off the list. We've got three more baits. And give it a little spinny spin spin. We've got the sunfish left, the duck, and the popping frog left. And it is going to be the duck. The duck it is. So I'm going to try to uh, catch a fish on this little guy right here. This is made by Weston. I believe I've done a video or challenge or something on this 
maybe it was a, I know it came in Mystery Tackle Box, so it might have even been a MTB Slam, but I de I've, I've caught fish on this, and I've caught some big fish on this too, so we're going to see if I can uh, catch a big fish today on this. Oh my gosh, guys. No, 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 stay on there, stay on there. There we go. There's a fish. There's a fish, guys. There we go. There is the fish. Blew up like a, like it was a four pounder, you know? And, uh, well, there we go. That is the third fish of the day on the third bait of the day, which is good because I was kind of struggling with this one and I'm, I'm still leaving this bank over here. You guys haven't seen me fish this bank yet i've been kind of like saving all this bank or saving that other bank for the next two baits so there we go third fish and hit right out over there like i said it was, he blew up really big on it blew up like that the last three and a half pounder did so i thought it was another big fish but obviously it it was not so and that's still a good still still a fun time still a fun blow up on caught a fish on the duck so other than that i'm going to uh re-rig this guy because he is very torn up and i don't know if this bait is going to be able to catch any more fish honestly um i i ha think i have come close to its ending um <laughs> yeah <laughs> This thing is really torn up. But other than that, finish that. I'm going to go back to my camera and baits and everything. We're going to see what the next bait is. All right, guys. It is going to be one of these two baits next. Duck. We can go ahead and take the duck off. So we've got the sunfish right there. And then the popping frog. Just going to go ahead and swipe her down. And we're going to see which one it is. Sunfish it is. Sunfish. Okay. So now we've got the sunfish left. And then we've got the uh, the popping frog will be the last bait of the five. So I'm going to tie this guy on and we're going to see if I can catch another fish. Oh, we got one, guys. We got a fish. I looked down to see if there was an ant or something crawling on my leg, and I heard a little guy suck it under, and there he goes. That is the fourth fish of the day. We've got one more bait left, and my gosh, he barely got it. Check that out, guys. Both hooks in the top of his mouth. Check that out. Oh, frog doing a little bit of peeing. Let's see. This frog got him, got him good. There we go. Fourth fish of the day. We are down to one final bait, guys. That's awesome. We're so close. I'm gonna. I gotta give him a toss from here. All right. Because you also gotta get the fish through these mats. If it's a big fish, it's it doesn't really matter. But this fish was small, and I, you gotta kind of toss them to where they'll get through that mat and. You know they can swim off decently so that was the fourth fish of the day um i'm gonna get back on actually i don't have to do the roulette little spin deal anymore because i only have one more bait and it's the popping frog so i'm gonna tie that sucker on and we're gonna see if we can catch the last and final fish all right guys the popping frog booyah popping pad crasher honestly probably saved one of the best baits for last so hoping that uh this bait doesn't take too long and i might even just continue fishing after i catch a fish on this if i catch a fish on this pretty fast and uh you know just keep fishing see if i can catch some more fish and uh, i'll put some more fish in this video We got one guys we got one the last fish of the day wow thank the lord guys i've been working on to catch a fish 
on this popping frog forever now. I don't know if it's, I don't know what it is. I don't know. Maybe it's just getting late in the day. But wow, that is a, that's a dink if I've ever seen one, eh? Wow. He, I mean, he barely got it. <laughs> but I've been trying to catch a fish on this frog forever. And I mean ever. I think I've, I've gone like, I think it's been maybe 30 to 45 minutes. And, uh, golly, you got it good too. And I've been trying on catch frog fish. I've had a couple blow ups, but the fish, I don't know if it's later in the day or just that the sun is getting up a little bit. And these fish, they're just not wanting to, you know, they're not wanting to bite. But this guy did. I'm going to try to get him off of here. Um, and then I'm going to cast back out there and try to get one more fish. There we go. I'm going to try to possibly, I'm going to stay for, you know, maybe another five minutes or so. Try to catch another fish. But hey, there we go. Right there. That is challenge completed. Topwater roulette challenge is check marked out of here that is a dunno so that's awesome i hope you guys enjoy that man that was a that was honestly a struggle though for this for to get a fish on on the popping frog and i thought it was going to be pretty easy within like the first like 20 minutes or so at least and i had a couple blow ups but nothing actually bit the frog so hey challenge completed that's all that matters Alrighty guys, well I'm gonna end today's video here uh, at my car. I'm putting putting stuff up, finishing the day of fishing. It is actually, I believe it's like almost nine o'clock. It's 9.03 right now. So this la this challenge lasted a lot longer than I thought it would. Uh, but I think, I mean, the buzz bait killed me, okay? Except I did catch the biggest fish of the day by far on that fit, on that bait. It took a long time to catch a fish on there and a lot of frustration as well. Just getting backlashes, the reel, my reel was not doing good today and everything. But the good thing is I completed the challenge. Um, I caught a fish on the frog, the normal frog, popping frog, which I just caught a fish on. The sunfish, the duck, as well as the buzz bait so that was awesome awesome challenge i'm really enjoying these i really enjoy now that i've done one of these um i really like this this style of challenge uh doing the roulette style um i don't know obviously i love top water fishing because it's, it's the bomb you know um it's awesome you get to see the fish blow up on them on the baits and everything but um I love this the the style of challenge like doing the roulette and the spinning it and everything so if you guys want to see more roulette challenges uh comment down below let me know down in the comments and i can uh, i can definitely look and see i can do some with my friends some with my dad my sister you know we can do whatever we want to so um other than that thank you guys for watching if you guys haven't checked out fly south apparel go check them out right now down link is down in the description if you haven't followed me on instagram go do that obviously um and then if you haven't checked out imitator baits go check that out as well and uh, other than that i'll catch you guys later peace